Be right back. Be right back. <clears throat> Hello everyone, I'm sorry for the delay. Welcome to the stream. Hi. We are continuing our adventure in Tyranny. This is the third part of a uh, uh, blind playthrough. And we are going to... This village here. They're here! Run! Go now! Your days end here! Stand your ground, defend the village. From me? On it. Ah! 
see that? But I'm not entirely useless. Okay. Moving cautiously. We should try that again. Right. Hey, Cole. Vendrian guard can't protect us! We must go! Oh. I'd say that's worth a second glance. Oh my god, I died! I'm not dead yet! They never had it. Chance. Of course. Negative, Fate Binder. Someone staunch my bleeding. Oh my god, what? Ah, uh, level up. Okay, let's level up. Uh. Attributes, spell strength, swift, and talent points, arcane chair, that's also grants a bonus to magic, grants a bonus to low skill. Okay, let's have a bonus to low skill. Okay. 
for taxing of the engaging okay safe how do we rest let's see options controls Do I have a key for rest? See? Capsule. Okay. The changes, yes. Camping will use set of camping supplies. Do you want to camp here? Yes, I want to rest. Okay. We have now rested. Village, take it. Good luck during the flood season. If you already surrendered, shouldn't the war be war over? Stompers. These are clearly better than mine. Should I go now? Kairos, the soldiers are here. Matani Sibyl's shrill voice pierces the air, a clarion call, call addressed not to you but to the citizens of the village. Do not fear sons and daughters of Apex. Pyrus's counts are at our doorstep. The Vengeant Guard will not abandon you. Brave warriors of the Vengeant Guard, these foreigners and sellouts mean to burn our homes and butcher our families. Summon what strength you have and show Kairos the price of taking our land. Several, several soldiers step out from half-closed doorways and dimly lit alleyways, fury blazing in their eyes. The partisans should shout battle cries to marshal their courage. And you see the grey gleam of iron as they brandish their weapons and charge. <clears throat> How in the name of Ashe? 
uh, did these hill folk get their hands on iron weapons? Varric regards the locals with momentary panic and bewilderment before setting his stance for battle. Okay, I leveled land tree, spell strength, magic defense, 17. Improves control view skill. Arcane shield grants a bonus arcane armor and magic defense. Yes. This is probably the final battle. They're here. Weapons up and remember those no longer with us. Honor them with your courage and prowess. The captain turns to face you as you approach. Fate Binder, we are proper warriors, are we not? This battle should remain between those of us who specialize in dealing death. Let the villagers go. They did not ask for this conflict. The townsfolk may go. The rest of you stand and fight. I'm not here for slaughter, I prefer to talk. This village is an accessory to sedition, surrender or perish. I'm here to talk. Billy, the trail of my dead friend, says otherwise. What is there to say, Fatebinder, unless it's sorry for all the murders followed by a big swig of hemlock, it's too late for words to solve anything. The captain looks at you expectantly, her soldiers stand ready and the muffled uh, cries and sobs of villagers fill the air. Kairos ultimately bring, brings order, why resist unity and prosperity? <clears throat> like the unity between the disfavored and the scarlet chorus, she throws back her head, issuing a dramatic laugh. That's not the sort of peace we want, we 
inside species is overrated. This means tolerating the evil in your neighbor. Uh, it is a cowardly dream for those with simplistic notions of the world. But I concede half your point. I thought a thought to dance across her face with a smile. The Vendrian Guard was once uh, simply the army of Apex. But now we have volunteers from all the realms joining our cause. So you are correct about bringing unity. This insurrection is doomed to failure. Why throw away your lives? My goal is to gain your surrender without bloodshed. The town's fault may go. The rest of you stand and fight. Run, all of you. We have demonstrated that a once vanquished people can rise from the dust and bloody the archons. If the objective is to send a message to others in the tears, then this has been a resounding success. My goal is to gain your surrender without bloodshed. That is a commendable notion, but I tragically, a tragically simple one at that. If any here could stomach life in the chorus or submission to a disfavored work camp, that person already surrendered years back. The folks standing here before you are the ones serious about our freedom. The town's fault may go. The rest of you stand and fight. Far be it for me to question a call, but this village is a source of aid for the Vendrian Guard. We would be fools to leave it standing to resupply our enemies the moment we turn our backs. Fair point, the villagers are guilty as well. All will surrender or perish. I didn't know our guilt was a winter fever so easily shared throughout the village, but perhaps the only way to impress your overlord is to slaughter the sick and unready. They knew the cost to define Kairos. That's about the logic I'd expect from one Kairos' response. The captain points at you, help. Hefting, uh, hefting her blade to the ready. I want this spineless pile of shit off my riverbank. Okay, I guess we kill the captain first, right? much blood. Oh, I'm blinded. Wake me up when it's over. Your will is weak. Sorry about that. Come on, die! On it. I got it. I need to try a different weapon. Will do.
I got it. God, I died like a bitch. This will get a fight. I'm going down. We will probably have to. Well, okay, load. Load. I probably have to. First, have to kill the mage. They're here! Run! Go now! I got it. Ah! Ah! I did that. Nice. Can't do that. Okay. items ocean of revival then okay. five okay let's let's see how the potions will fare I now. got it On it. Will do. The Vendrian Guard can't protect us! We must go! See that? Send them at me in waves! Right. Hello, Diana. That's how it's done. Take that. Okay, let's level up. Spell strength, save. Magic, arcane charge. Energy shield requires. Focus your will into a shield of energy around yourself or a party granting additional armor. Yes. Okay, Baric. Safe. 
and Baric will have uh, Sentinel. Wish you mocking him with the challenge and attack Baric. Safe. Okay. Now. On it. We will first fight. Uh, we will first fight, and then we will loot. Kairos, the soldiers are here. Archers. have this much blood. <laughs> Entirely useless. <laughs> okay, let's re rest. Let's level up. Spell strength, magic. Save. Okay. And now let's save. Save game. New save. Right. Okay. Who's the mage? Uh huh. Okay. So now we go and kill the mage first. Uh, 
you. Drink. I drink. And then I push the mage. Iron flame. I said kill the fucking mage. I got it. <laughs> Too old for this. I better not wake. Got right. Okay, we killed the mage. Now let's kill the this. One. Kill me. We can do this. Feel. <laughs> <laughs> Do that. Right. Let us take them together. Yeah, well struck. <laughs> I got it. Okay, so potions Will do. Take me if you can. <laughs> I 
think we got him. Man, this battle is taxing. Jesus Christ. So great. Sibyl can barely summon the strength to crawl, and after several attempts, she slips on her own, pulling her blood. She lifts her head to focus on you. She mouths several words, though no cogent sound escape her mouth until she falls to her knees, raising her side. Well done, Fate Binder. This one survived its wounds. We even have fresh We even have fresh present of uh, the Archon of Secrets. He did request a personal audience with any leader we can take alive. <clears throat> That's a mighty big if. Those southern folk are a sickly bunch. Until wags a hand dismissively. Looking at her suffer, it's making me sick. I'll kill her and get this over with. I say give her to the Scarlet Chorus, see if she survives trip back to camp ah uh, that sounds horrible she fought well enough do it the words are a command hissed through bloody lips with a decisive swing you bring down your weapon on her skull and shatter her brains across the rooftop oh my god I would it would appear that a uh, Kokal village had a larger enemy presence than we suspected. They also had a whole crop of iron weapons stockpiled there. Here, bet those innocent villagers were helping to gather battlefield salvage or maybe stealing from our camp. There are so few iron weapons among the chorus. Seems likely the disfavored need to keep a better eye on their supply lines. And what of this village? The locals could have trapped the houses so too risky commandeer the site, he shrugs, his tone becoming matter of fact. We should burn the town. It'll cut our, our cut off support, send a message, and the smoke signal will give the others a visible rallying point when crossing the Matani. Did we just waste all that blood and time capturing this place only to torch it all? Now I adore the mystical power of fire in ways none of you uh, could possibly understand, but even I think there is a, a time and place for arson. Fatebinder, kindly tell Antio he's free to burn his half of the village. The Scarlet Chorus would like to keep our half of the spoils, not smoke it. Burn the town with everyone in it. Let us send a message the rebels won't soon forget. The settlement should be preserved and 
can he still here made slaves or conscripts? We place too much trust in these locals, especially after their last deception. The first chance they get, they will turn coat and stab their gang boss in the back. That would only prove one point. These are competent fighters who are better put to work in Kairos's army. No boss who falls to a simple villager deserves to live anyway. Kairos ascetic looms overhead. Uh, have we nothing better to do with our time? The disfavored warrior shakes his head in enough and turns up to his squad. Hear that? The chorus just made this town their headache. Now start rounding up your gear. There's a lot to do before we rest. A sensible decision, dear Fatebinder. If we, hold, if we hold to the disfavors pogrom of raised soil, what will remain for us to rule? Bitter Quip claps his hands, raising his voice to address his gangs. Seize this place, search the homes, take all you, that you can carry. Give each survivor a chance at the voice's mercy, um, but to the ungrateful be brutal. If Tyke needs your services dealing with the notebreakers in other in the outer valley no well when you are done with uh, uh, fifth eyes request the archons will be gathering for another meeting at the disfavored camp as our sole representative of the court uh, your presence will be required don't keep them waiting okay On it. Iron heated shield. Petrian guard heavy bronze helmet. Imperial iron falcata. Iron great sword. <sighs> Got it. Noble mount tuning. Stone Agate Old Man Mua I've already told you I'm not leaving my home. The old man slams his fists together for emphasis, glaring at you with a startled brow. Oh, you aren't these purple imbeciles. Sorry, didn't mean to yell. Eyesight isn't what it used to be. Name's Mua. Been here since old King Okon claimed the valley as part of uh, his own. You're with Kairos, right? He jabs a finger at you with the question. And Kairos brings peace, right? Well, I surrender now. Leave me to my home and privacy. I suggest you cooperate with their demands. Settle down, son. I've been living here on, on my lonesome just fine. I've endured heat waves, breath of fever, flooding. I'm not worried by children at play. Just hope none of you kids drown in the river. That'll make your parents sick. <laughs> I'm sorry about the laundry. We are making uh, renovations and uh, this is the place it stays. For the time being. I doubt you'd enjoy quartering uh, any Scarlet Chorus if you stayed. This settlement is becoming a garrison. Fine, rot away. You the old man. Oh my. 
I'm tired of your tone, you dusty old beast rutter. Oh my god, no, 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 I will not kill the old man. See if I can. The old man pauses, mod contorting into a frown. A garrison. I thought uh, this was just some little pissing match. You soldiers are moving in. Moe shakes his uh, head, crumbling, crumbling a string of half formed words before looking at you with a pained expression. Last thing I need is a good for nothing. Soldiers demanding room and logic from the one hospitable local. The old man shakes his head. No peace at all. Fine, I'll gather my things. Best be off before the crossing becomes a war camp. What's there? This sturdy door has been locked, but it doesn't appear to have been barred on the other side. Oh, I can break the lock and I can pick the lock. The lock looks this way. Pick the lock. <laughs> yeah! Finally! You are late, as usual. Merchant's Bracers. Forge. Iron ingots bear the seal of the Forge Bound Guild. Yeah, 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 yeah. I know, you are so uh, overworked. The old man barges in through the door behind you. You motherless whoremonger. <laughs> he tends to usher you away with the pointed end of walking stick. Get out! I found forge bound iron in one of these barrels. You have a great deal to explain, old man. <laughs> Motherless whoremonger, yeah. The old man points his walking stick at your face. It's always the young pushing the old. I had no choice in the matter. Strange men appeared here a fortnight ago. They claimed to be supporters to the Vendrin guard, but I've never seen them before. He stamps his foot in a fit. I had no choice. These so-called freedom fighters threatened my life if I didn't comply. Villagers forcing you to help the Vendrian guard? That sounds suspicious. And there's always a kill <laughs> option. A uh, lie by a bitter old man unwilling to accept. No, I will not kill you for now. I don't want to kill people unless it's absolutely necessary. Come on. Have you been listening to a damn thing I've been saying or do you have shit for years? <gasps> His face twitches as his spittle lands on you. That's exactly what I was saying. I don't want any part of this foolish war. Either way you knew and the disfavored will make you pay the price. It seems like your stubborn ignorance may have saved you. I'm taking the iron. You may stay. The old man... Snatch, uh, snatches your hands and shakes them with what little strength he has left. Thank you, Fate Bander. Okay, so this is his home, probably. Yes. Let's go. Melita is probably a merchant. Water.
more water. Uh, lesser healing potion, okay. I remember those were nice shoes. day to you no So, uh, taking the other, okay, this is complete. So now we have the Scarlet Corps occurring to attempting to secure the outer ring of vengeance. Well, you need to help them deal with the rebel forces in the area before, okay. So this is the next quest, I guess. This one, triple nets, wilderness. Let's go. It will take seven to uh, seven hours. Well, I don't have any choice. I have to go there. Oh God, not again. Take limp. Reinforcements finally come this way. We need to. The Chorus Warrior pumps his tattooed arm in salute midway. Through the gesture, I, a look of confusion dawns across his painted face. Mr. Verse, what did I do to deserve such a helping hand? A chuckle escapes the man before he shudders. Placing hand over his mouth, at once alert on the, of the need to remain quiet, his voice drops to a harsh whisper. The fifth eye has a sense of humor ascending. First, returns a cold glare, but says nothing. I'm here to round up the Vendrian guard. Oh yeah? Come to steal my quarry? He gets out a muffled chuckle through a half set of teeth. Why am I fooling? We met our match two days ago and aren't in any shape to tussle again. Much as I love to the bragging rights of claiming some scalps, my gang needs a rest before we pick another fight. Their camp is just yonder, points to the northeast, and we've kept an eye on them for the past couple of days. Some of them left a few hours ago looking for food, maybe out on patrol, but they haven't returned yet. Might be wise to strike now while they're divided. Leave the old breakers to me. My gang and I will lurk nearby. When you make your move, we'll descend and help with capturing Florian. Don't worry, I'll let the others know you did the heavy lifting. I'll cheat at battle, but not with my reputation. Locate the rebel captain. 
Yeah, another another nasty fight, I guess. Curious. Curious. Staff of Titans. We can it. Quality fine. Crush DPS. Okay. What do I have? Lesser stuff. Storm's heart. Fourteen shock. Sixteen crush. Plus recovery. Okay. Let's try. Can't do that. Can we rest? Rest. Okay, let's save also. And go here. Oh, 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 oh. I am a sheep. The intruder. Soldier. Honor guard. Words would cause more harm than this useless weapon. God. Oh my God! Traps. Dark all of a Broken armor, of course. Of course, it's broken. I got it. Soldiers, let's save. Oh, God, Found 
the battle. I'm starting to think we're bad at making. Oh my god. Teleported. We should try that again. Uh, 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 what the fuck is wrong with my weapon? I don't know what the fuck is wrong with your weapon. Okay. Safe. Right. On it. Right. Interesting. Florian. Ah, oh, this is the captain. For real? Ain't that odd. The Overlord's peons have arrived. Blades up. Boxing. Be right back.
Emily Ghetto near you is my wife's nephew. Ah, little sneaker. If you value your life, drop everything and flee or stand and fight. I'm happy with that option too. He just seemed unsupporting for me to suggest it. Surrender now and I can protect the lives of your warriors. Die, old breaker. Now the giant man whistles a shrill, sustained note that pierces your ear and echoes off the foothills to the east. In his unison, the warriors of his crew follow along, sounding their signal for all the area to hear. More time. Let's level up. Accuracy and armor deflection. Safe. After a kill, verse will strike twice. Verse stuns her foe, enraging them and forcing them to attack her for a brief time. Verse moves quickly, but too quickly for enemies to engage her. Yes, this sounds cool. Let's kill this sucker. Queen! Waffle potion. Watching a, a, a battle, I'm I'm <laughs> I'm I'm killing uh, I'm killing my enemies, basically. On it. Oh my god, Verse died again. Right. Oh, god, dark all of a sudden. See that? I'm not entirely you. God, these guys. He leveled. Safe. Safe. Oh. 
killed him. On your I'm only remain with Balik. I will aid you. New dent. Come on, Barik. Kill him. Yes. Can we rest? Yes, we can rest. Okay. Ventry and guard heavy bronze armor. Wow. Okay. Uh... Yes. Scar current to eliminate the Vendrian Guard reinforcements. They have arrived in triple net. You need to kill them all to cleanse the area of rebel resistance. Okay. Outbreak. Okay, let's see. Bowman's tunic. <laughs> oh, thank you. Thank you very much. My wife make me a, made me an apple pastry. Uh, heavy bronze armor. Plus three armor. Okay. How about Vendrian? Barrack is locked. Heavy bronze helmet. Deflection. She's just squishy, I guess. Uh, safe. I got it. So I guess there are more people here that I have to kill. No? More tallies to the body.
I got it. On it. So great. Oh, my God. useless you got it time to change weapons Someone stitch me up. Hey, you won't enjoy this as much as I do. Grovel <laughs> before me. Return to fake limp. Okay. I'm sorry. Mm. Unskilled guy. Perhaps your continued and faithful service shall remind the Archons of their duties to the Overlord. One can hope. May fortune favor your endeavor. Okay. You've taken care of engine guard around triple net triple trip nettle. Although a bit more violently than you were told. Time to report back to fake limp. Yes. You killed him. He grit his teeth and glares at you. Are you daft? If I said we can kill any of them except Florian. Glare silently. Now what do we do? Return to the fifth eye, empty handed. We're the you're the one who screwed this up, but I'm the one that'll get flogged for it. Not sure I like the tone of your voice. Not sure like the tone of your face. <laughs> Fuck it. What's done is done. At least. No way, Hubo. At least the old breakers are dead. 
So the day isn't a total loss, Fake Lim shakes his head with a huff. I have to report back to Fifth Eye, and I'm supposed to tell you to report to this favored camp. Guess the Archons have another meeting and want you to want you present. Here's hoping this means we're finally ready to march on the Citadel and be free of the edict. What's there? Let's see. There's I'd some say that's worth a second glance. Bronze javelin. Sorry, I can't. Saber cam camp or Scarlet Chorus camp? Which camp was the meeting? You are following the road through an expanse of scrubby woodlands, crooked oaks and dry needled pines grasping towards the sky when you catch the sound of children's laughter filtering through the trees. Abandoning the road, you make your way to a small tributary of the Matani snaking through the sparse forest. There you discover a group of four youths gathered beside a small stream. Two of the children sit on the rocks, balls in hand, staring patiently at the water. The other two are seated near a bucket, taking turns walking hills along the ground to stun them and carving a new meat. Speak to the children. Step out of the woods, drawing the attention of the children who eye you warily. The eldest youth among the men growth, almost a man growth, notes you hear heraldy and hawks a ball of phlegm into the reeds. Punish the spitter, tell a story, ask to sniggle, ransom the children. Tell a story, okay. You raise your hands to calm the youngsters and ask if they are they've heard the tale of Pox and the elder boar of the Bernian wood. When they look to one another without answer, you begin to spin the story for them. An odd and sometimes amusing yarn filled with epic adventure and dark mysticism. By the time you've finished, the youth have become entirely absor absorbed in your story utterly wrapped in their attention. The youngest of the children brings you an eel in exchange for your time. You thank them and return to the road to continue your journey. <laughs> uh, well... I'm trying, although I, I killed this... I killed this general... Uh, in blind rage, and I think I shouldn't. Uh, I will not kill children, you know. The... I don't know. No, it wasn't here. Oh, it was in... Attend the meeting of the Archons. Oh, it's not here.
the archons are in the okay let's let's visit the merchant first let me see your wares So he has a phalanx, one-handed fine pierce, bronze hammer, bronze spear, brotherhood, chain, lesser, oh, he has a lesser healing potion. Camping supplies I need, yes, five, lesser healing potion, only three, okay and great I wish there was a button sell all junk. I guess I don't need <laughs> for real life too. Yeah. <laughs> Don't need water, I guess. Grain, meat, elemental barrier. No. Great. Okay, let's go to war uh, council. How can we trust your rabble not to turn at this last moment? How many of your conscripts have family bonds to the Vendrian Guard? It is decided. The Disfavored will take the vanguard of the assault. It is the only way to assure success before the edict comes to pass. Oh, you're so young. We can forgive you for being stupid. Without your Archon of Stone to bring down those walls, you're out of your element. Only the chorus has the numbers required to swarm the walls from all sides. We will lead the vanguard of this battle. The best the chorus could accomplish would be leaving a ramp-shaped pile of corpses propped up against the walls for my warriors to use. Their fortifications are not a concern. Even understaffed, my Earthshakers could breach the masonry in short order. So, Emily, these are the generals and my allies? Uh, there are mm, mm. Thank you Hi Dido uh, So these are the the generals there are basically two invading armies who are competing uh, uh, 
uh, with each other um, uh, for the honor of taking the last place. <laughs> Sorry. Um, the last uh, remaining uh, free place uh, on on the earth and they are constantly arguing with each other and you have to mediate between them to gain their favors uh, etc another brilliant idea Cairns cult is, we're sure, every bit as trustworthy and sane as the late Archon of Stone himself. Uh, you did notice the spire at the center of the citadel? Oh, hard to miss it, being only the tallest thing on the horizon and such. Certainly your Earth mages won't do anything stupid like, say, breaking the spire's foundation. What could possibly go wrong? The voices of Nerat lazily twirls his scepter. I trust them more than I trust your circus of rapists, sell swords, and turncoat tearsmen. Oh my god. Tunon's fate binder has arrived. The war there tent falls silent and all eyes turn to you expectantly. Our operations in Echo Call, Crossing and Triple Trip Nettle Wilderness were successful. Why aren't you two marching uh, toward Ascension Hall? Why is it my so-called allies are more willing to belittle than to assist? The Vendrian Guard have been the least of my headaches in this damned valley. Now that we are all assembled, I want reports. The Scarlet Chorus was going to resolve the Oathbreaker presence in the Outer Valley. What became of that? Yes, what did become of that? We should know already, yet we do not. If we are not mistaken, the Fate Binder played a pivotal role in this operation. Fifth Eye, shed light on this baffling question. The Fate Binder did indeed assist the chorus in a fashion. The Oathbreakers were cut down, but the Fate Binder's wrath spared none, and Captain Pelox Florian was not taken alive much to our disappointed uh, disappointment but yeah that's that's the captain i killed in a blind rage sorry the fate binder seems to have applied these favors justice to florian such a waste and look what showing them mercy has done for us my scouts report seeing chorus thugs freeing your camp defecting back to the enemy they okay, are Emily. using your mercy and you either don't notice or don't care. The former is negligence. The latter is treachery. I was asked to lend the warrior's hand and, uh, and did just that. Be grateful or be silent. I disagree. He would have made a perfect captive. But he was a raging zealot with a death witch. Captured was, capture wasn't an option. They are old breakers. They've abused our mercy, and before, once before, and uh, we are idiots to think that will change. Iron Marshal, I understand we've established a foothold across the Matani. Report. Securing the Matani was a gruesome affair. An agent of the School of Tides still lives, and the river was turned against us. Despite our losses, the day ended in success at Echo Cal Crossing. Though the victory came at great cost. When it came time to secure the nearby Echo Call village, there was a distressing discovery. The villagers had been uh, stashing iron weaponry, no doubt stolen from our supply lines. Commander Antio wished to burn the village, but the chorus disagreed, and the Fate Binder backed their claim. A few of them got away, but their leader, Captain Matani Sibyl, did not. Our spies tell us uh, she was one of the founding members of the insurrection. Her death will no doubt dishearten the Oathbreakers. One less noble scion of Apex with delusions of relevance. Good riddance. Have we forgot why we marched south in the first place? Are we to rule over a sea of corpses? Have you any idea how difficult it is to tax dead people? <laughs> Your treatment of the locals is short-sighted. 
We alone follow the commandments of the Overlord. As if, as if to emphasize his words with the conductor's wand, the voices of Nerat flourishes his jeweled scepter in the air. We can safely assume Kairos wants some bloodshed, otherwise, why send the disfavor? Sophistry becomes you, Fate Binder. But we think the disfavored were sent to learn from our example. What other reason would the Overlord have for slowing us down with such a burdensome ally? Enough! If these are my allies, why bother with the enemy? Even the low-born Oathbreakers have the honor and decency to... The Archon of War slams them all to the ground with bone rattling thud. Oh, finish your thought, old chap. They have the honor and decency too. To what? To abide by some sort of deal you made with them? The voices of Nerat spins his scepter in the palm of his hands. Calling at the Archon of Secrets, Graven Ash says nothing, his body heaving, heaving with agitation. A truce with the old breakers, is this true? Immaterial is what it is. The edict is all that matters now, and we will march on Ascension Hall and avenge our fallen brethren. If you two are unwilling to work together as as a fate binder of Tunon, I will order you to do so. With whom do you stand? The voices of Nerat's mask tilt sideways as he launches forward, waggling his scepter at you. The tent grows. You will march on the Vendrian Welk Citadel together or not at all. You test my patience, Fatebinder. We did not ask for a weak compromise that leaves all parties unsatisfied. Whom do you support? Are you going to let the Scarlet Chorus traitors have their way? Or will you stand by Kairos' true disciples, the Disfavored? The Disfavored will us, lead. As I knew you would. You have made the right choice. The Disfavored have stood at the forefront of battle since the first days of the war. And now, we have the honor of winning this final battle. Our beloved Chorus! We have too many lives to protect. We can't allow your foolish decision to destroy us all! A brilliant emerald green radiates from the Archon, and the chapter of a busy marketplace seems to fill the tent. The scepter he normally holds as a playful prop is now clutched as a bludgeon ready to strike. You would dare harm me and our guests from the court? The air crackens with electricity as Graven Ash lifts his maul to strike. Oh my god, what happened? By Kairos' word, this means war! How did it come to this? <coughs> you rouse to consciousness to the sight of Graven Ash swatting his hand to towards the thinning green mist where the voices of Nerat once stood moments ago. We will have to take Ascension Hall without the Chorus' help. Are you sure you wish to go to war against the Chorus? I saw you step in front of me, thank you. Just old soldier reflexes. Couldn't be sure if it was trying a simple illusion or a bolt of fire. Either way, needed to be sure my guests didn't perish in my war tent. Wouldn't be able to live that one down. Are you sure what other the... choice am I given? It is clear the voices of Narat would endanger all of us out of vanity. Besides, we all know when this war is over, someone must rule and protect the Tears. So I will start protecting the Tears from the depravity of the Scarlet Chorus. Yes, and instead of having false allies on our side, at least we can march on the Citadel knowing full well who is friend and foe. And it goes without saying. The Disfavored need you now for this glorious battle. Please speak with the Iron Marshal. She will give you the specifics of our plan. The Archon of Secrets left behind one of his spies. Perhaps we should send her back to her master in pieces. 
Gravenash narrows his eyes and points a finger at verse. Varric's armor makes a dis discordant sound of iron bending under pressure. Everyone assembled in the room looks at him. Something to say, Beric? Ash passes his stone shield a confused look. Nothing at present, Archon. Forgive the interruption. Varric looks to you with a vague hope in his otherwise impersonal stare. Verse is with me. You would harbor the Archon's henchmen in your company? This is aiding and abetting the voices of Narat. I cannot stand for it. You can and you will. Well, until you and Narat first squabble, I was respected in the chorus. I do not need your permission. Respect a fellow servant of Kairos. She can tell us about Scarlet Horus or the voices of Narat if she's dead. Whatever pitiful regard the Howling Maw once gave you, you had best disregard it. You are Tunon's vassal, not theirs, and your support of my cause will not endear you to any former allies in the chorus. You are playing a dangerous game, Binder. If you wish to hold a venomous serpent so close, I will allow you your own self-destruction. Now leave me. When you are ready to join the assault, speak to the Iron Marshal. Okay. Let's tell strength. Be right back.
Okay. So, Iron Marshal, Erinos. Let's talk to him. The time is upon us, Iron Marshal nods at you with a serene smile. We march on Vengeon well to show the tearsmen the price of insurrection. She looks at in either direction, surveying the moment, the movement of ironclad warriors readying for battle. Kairos's Ed, edict will soon come to bear and we should move at once. Fatebinder, if you are willing, I could use your assistance. We are a tight knit band and uh, while we are not outclassed, we are outnumbered. You, will you march to battle with us? I'll join you for this battle, but I'm not amused by this little fight between armies. I'll join you for this battle, even if we have to spill some chorus blood. The Overlord brings peace. This sort of a disorder runs against the harmony Kairos give, gives us. We will answer for our actions in due time, but for now our survival hinges on taking Ascension Hall, killing Scarlet Chorus in self-defense is self-defense by any measure our forces are assembling as we speak we will meet you at the citadel graven ash protects she offers a firm salute then turns to her troops meet the disfavored at the citadel okay let's assault the citadel i guess Vendrian Citadel. Accept. As you make your way along one of the white dirt roads that winds through the forest of old apex, the mountains loom above you on every side and only the mountain spire jutting skyward from the center of the broken realm provides a consistent landmark by which to navigate. Cresting a hill, you make out a flash of light on bronze through the trees accompanied by the movement of several individuals. That much bronze, you realize, must indicate a group of oathbreakers, and they seem to be just around the next bend in the road. I will avoid them. Deciding to avoid a possible confrontation with an oathbreaker patrol, you move off the road and into the forest, quietly pushing through the bush and uh, routing around the, the occupied band. The song of insects, insects drones incessantly, only occasionally punctuated by the rustling uh, of some woodland animal passing by unseen. After about an hour of woodland travel, you break free again <clears throat> onto the dusty road and continue towards your destination. Take a look at that iron wall of woman. Must be the Iron Marshal. Okay. Binder, come this way. The Iron Marshal welcomes you with a clattering salute. The enemy left only a pittance of soldiers to slow our advance. The majority of their warriors are holed up within the citadel. No use trying to lure them out. We have to bring the fight inside. That wall, she points north, is where the Earth Shakers are focusing their magic. They cannot afford to be imprecise with their tremor or sigils with the spire so close and we will need to contend with the defenders mages if we are to crack the perimeter how can i help the enemy sages are working some sort of protective magic 
that's keeping the wall held together. I need you to silence their this resistance. Head east and secure a way over the wall. My troops aren't dressed for scaling. Kill the sages, the earth shakers will clear the way and will meet you inside. Now go with the glory of Kairos. If you are wounded in battle, come see me. Receive a missive from Tunon. We are not completely without our senses. We knew Kairos would issue an edict on our valley. Perhaps the Overlord has a sick sense of humor, but I can assure you I laughed when I learned the death sentence doomed the Oddbreaker and Puppet equally. I had such low expectations for the servant of so-called Archon of Justice. You know, seems little more than a passive stooge that sits on a throne uh, to legitimize the carnage and plunder of the order of the other Archons, the face of prosperity that lets Kairos claim one thing while being another. I would have hoped you actually did serve justice, the notion, not the Archon, but your actions have said otherwise. At least I can thank you for proving my cynicism entirely warranted. To survive this upcoming slaughter, bear witness that I, Tarkisari of the Vendrian Guard, do take responsibility for having desperate and easily manipulated into a struggle that was mine and not theirs. Sell this lie as well as you would sell the lies of Vendrian insurrectionists continues apace. That they wrote me this separately of their divergent tactical intentions and then engenders no small concern, but I trust uh, now in your efforts. May your good judgment see you through the coming confrontation with glory and success and back to the safety of our court. Okay, uh, let's save. Welcome back. Yeah. Are you afraid 
do this! Nothing stands in our way! Yes, I love peanuts. Much as I hate the prospect of climbing, a foothold could get us into the courtyard. Okay. Let's rest. The wall is crumbling here. He Creating many handloads and footholds. Okay, let's climb. Music is very nice. Uh, spell strength, magic defense. Arcane shield. Okay, let's save. Right. Will do. Look at that, future corpse.
tried that again. This weapon is a tiger. Damn thing couldn't pierce cloth. This weapon is useless. Okay. Safe. Heads up, we have company. Okay. We got this. Let's move it in now. Enter the main courtyard, okay, let's just... I forgot to loot, sorry. Camping supplies, okay. I don't mind camping supplies. Also cheese. Safe. They've breached the gate. The chorus has breached the gate. Stand aside. Ascension Hall is ours alone for the taking. The fifth eye swings his spear in broad arcs as he roars in his crackling tenor. Withdraw at once before you feel the weight of a thousand chorus blades and bludgeons. No sooner would a family of maggots beat a pack of wolves, the disfavored commander beckons the scarlet chorus forward. Come, I'll take you five at a time, just make things fair. Deal with them, I'll take Ascension Hall. 
so about the edict commander looks will stand them will stall them you make a break for the inner, inner sanctum oh my god it's a civil war Who the fuck are you? The ascension hall. They're here, they've reached the perimeter, they're in the keep. Nothing shrill warning signal, the old breaker falls back deeper into the keep. Okay. Pass. Vendrian guard heavy bronze armor. Sorry, I can't. Lord, <laughs> They have a mage. Let's kill the mage. We can do this. Come and face my iron. Oh. Oh. Attack deflected. Potion. Potion. I need to try a different weapon. Damn thing couldn't pierce claw. Right. This weapon is entirely worthless. Okay. Let's rest. And safe.
Sage's Hood, Sage's Glove, Vendrian Bow. Thirteen, fifteen. See that? Okay. Wrong side. Bloodstone, Garnet, Agate. And cheese. I got it. Broken armor, roll. Will do. You read the scroll and absorb the magical knowledge it contains. Okay. Siege of force. That wasn't so hard. Azur bell. Collection for 
safe. On it. There are five of them. On my command. You can rest when you're dead. My I seem to be unwell. I can't. For Christ's sake. Needle and thread. Nervous. down <laughs> Bleed out 
out, you little shit. <laughs> you got it. You got it. Okay. We survived. Let's rest. And safe. This is all here. Oh God. <gasps> oh, this is, uh, that, this is this woman. So you are the vanguard of Kairos's conquest, not as tall as I imagined, but we can't all choose our executioners. Already word of your of our defiance spreads throughout the land. You are seven kind seven kinds of stupid if you think our war ends here. Before you stands Captain Tarkisari, de facto leader of the dwindling Vendrian Guard. Short, sunburned, and uh, agitated, even when standing still, her body is a compact sculpture of muscle and bone, and her face is short of symmetry thanks to the scars and dents of a dozen brushes of death. Though your lives will certainly end here, in Ascension Hall, she chortles, pointing upward to the ceiling, its stone arcs somehow supporting the massive weight of the spire overhead. Consider yourself fortunate. Some of the finest rulers of Apex met death by duel in this hallowed hall. Truly there is no finer place to settle an intractable feud. Sister's brother, Saryu, looks back to her cadre of soldiers with a solemn nod. It has been <coughs> a privilege to lead and an honor to share in your final days, taking a deep breath, she turns to you, waiting silently. What did you hope to gain from your rebellion? Seems your lore. You bring a lot of magic to fight directly beneath the spire, trying to bury us all. But what sort of inbred fool are you? That's a risk I'm willing to take, the sage at Side emits a nervous cough and glances up with a concerned gaze. After a short moment of hesitation, the sage runs for the exit. Oh my god! Okay, minus one sage. This is good. Get back here, Ari shouts at the fleeing sage, but to no avail. What was I thinking, bringing cowardly scribes to a sword fight? Eb was right about the lot of you. Sisters, brothers, Harry looks, it has been a privilege, okay. Seems your uprising amounted to nothing but dead kinsmen. And what did taking Vendrian's well cost you? How many disfavored corpses rust in the valley? How many chormen uh, fell to our blades? How goes the endless battle of the blade grave while you deal with us here? Ari laughs, wincing as she clutches her side. And tell me, are the Archons in, in unified in victory? Did the armies bond in camaraderie? 
over our debts, our stand here is the first of your problem, problems. You created your kinsmen to slow the inevitable, nothing more. We demonstrated that the armies of Kairos could be shamed by stubborn peasants. The overlord's empire is vast, his army is numerous, his magic unstoppable, yet he cannot destroy our fighting spirit, hardly the show of force I'd expect from a truly fearsome overlord. I hope that argument keeps you warm in the emptiness of the Void Guardsman. What did you hope to gain from your rebellion? Nothing that we haven't already gained. Our pride, our dignity, these things you can never take from us. She smiles, her eyes distant for a moment. The Vendrian Guard could never stand against all of Kairos, forces but we can teach others to resist, and maybe you will run out of soldiers before we run out of stubbornness, but I doubt it. We already use Kairos as currency. You already use Kairos as currency, speak the language. Military control is a formality. But that's our Islamers swatting at the air. That's just sophistry. Kairos speaks our language, not the other way around. Besides, that proves nothing other than the co than common history. But the Fate Binder is saying that Kairos is not just one enemy, but a massive force that can reach you even in times of peace. Armies and edicts are just two of the bloodier ways Kairos can control you. Any last words? Yes, a broad smile comes to over Ari's face. Tell the voices of Nerat we are most thankful for his aid. We would not have made this far without his support. Look at that! Okay. Priorities. Let's topple the mage. Let's kill the... Someone stitch me up. I'd better not wait. Oh, for fuck's sake. He got right. dead. <laughs> <laughs>
Good work. Can't do that. Will do. <laughs> On it. I'm injured. Got it. Nuts. We may die, but others will follow our example. Mark my words, the captain coughs up blood. You've bested their leadership. Most impressive. Remind me never to underestimate the skills of a fate binder. I am honored to have had to have had a hand in the glory. I'm sure your Archon, your Archon will be pleased that I managed to do the job okay. favored with this favored. And your help was pivotal. Graven Ash will soon be hearing an earful about your skill and courage. The party has received Seeker. The clutter and madness of combat has finally ceased. Essential Hall. Ascension Hall is for a moment tranquil. May Pox take your children. Ari <laughs> slumps to a crouch, her body trembling from injury and fatigue. With those words of defeat, the burning hum you heard uh, in your head for days and on end tapers off into nothing. Your mind returns to a state of quiet and uh, quiet you have not felt since before your proclaimed edict of, upon vengeance well i lay claim to ascension hall let us be free of this edict and with that kairos's edict of execution should be no more you feel a tug in your chest as a warm energy begins to form around you before you know it you feel as if you are lighter than air blink away the last of the luminescent trails in your field of vision, the masonry of the Ascension Hall is replaced with wide open space in every direction, save for the slab of ancient stone beneath your feet. High winds shove you, pushing you off balance. The air is cool and thin, unsatisfying to your lungs. Is this Lantry looks out to the horizon wide-eyed with excitement. Yes, this must be the mountain spire. When was the last time? Lantry's eyes looked down over the ledge, the ledge, dumbstruck by the vertical plunge. Lantry packs 
away from the edge. I may need to retch. This is certainly a change. The wind ruffles the feathers in her hair and verse quickly smooths them down. A damn cold change. She peers over the edge. I think, uh, think I could land on my feet if I jumped. Not that it would matter for long. Kairos be merciful. What now? Barik spins around on his feet, looking about, trying to take us in as much as he can through the narrow visor of his helmet. Every way the book mountains rise up along a distant horizon. The rivers and forests below bring to mind maps of Vendrian as well, and you quickly trace the Matani, the Irenef, and all the numerous waterways of the region. Higher than you imagined it, this is indeed the pinnacle of the spire at Vendrian as well. How did we get all the way up here? Ari strains to stand up, clutching her side. Another question, how in the name of Graven Ash do we get down? The Iron Marshal walks to the edge, trembling a half pace back as, the, as she peers downward. The warriors below must be sensing that the edict has ended. We should be down there, by their side. The edict is gone, and we are still standing. If we are a conscript down, if we were a conscript down there, I'd run for, for it and thank my good fortune. Verse draws herself up and takes a welcome breath. She glances down at the ground with less certainty. Send word to Graven Ash that we were successful. I hereby claim this place. This is now an extension of Tunon's court, and all combatants must leave. Enough bloodshed for one day. I demand all blades. She That was a worthy battle, not since stalwart have I seen such courage, such determination, all but the siege needed you spans ago. Agreed, and I would be honored to deliver your auspicious message in person, but she points down over the edge. I think the blast of magic from the spire and the edict that it is sent should have been clear to everyone, but Graven Ash will want to know you are safe, go through that portal and to Graven Ash the return. Then return to me with any news. No telling how stable it is, but look closely and you'll see images of Ascension Hall in the haze. Well, if you have trained eyes, that is. Of course, even if it's not stable, the alternative is jumping, so what do we have to lose? Oh, how did I not notice that the portal, the portal's shimmering co uh, contours glimmer the moment you call out its presence. Assuming this takes me back to Ascension Hall, I'll carve a path to Ash and let him know the score. With resounding clatter, Irenius, Irenius bids her breastplate in salute. Glory to Kairos. Send the Archon of War my regards. Thank you for being the edge of our blade. We've been short-handed even since we took the gates of judgment. And these old breakers fight well above their station. Without you in my vanguard, this would have been a bloodier day. And there's no telling if we would have seized Ascension Hall in time. Vendrian's well is yours. Hold it for the glory of Tunon. It would be wise for us to place court held lands between us and the enemy. That way the chorus cannot fortify around us without giving offense to the Archon of Justice. Nerat's treachery means war. Nerat's treachery means war. I trust we will be able to rely on your continued support in the coming trials. No doubt I'm the very definition of an enemy of the Overlord. I didn't just resist, I lead others into resistance, so I know that's about to happen, what's about to happen, but I know when I've met my match and like most folk, I'll do whatever it takes to live. If you will show me mercy, I will pledge my life to you, 
good fate binder. Serve me well, and all can be forgiven. Yes, <coughs> I am a merciful leader. If you have my fealty, it is yours. If you have my fealty, it is yours. I, Ab of the Tidecasters, do hereby pledge my life and loyalty to unskilled guy. Yeah! Two women! That's a good night. I will serve the, and obey so long as you have need or want of my skills. Goodbye to you too. As far as gangs go, I've seen worse. Goodbye to you too. Let's try Ebb. Vengeance well has fallen. For the second time since the conquest began, Pyros' armies take the citadel from its defenders. With your help, the Vengeance Guard Rebellion has been crushed. You claim the Ascension Hall with your disfavored allies, satisfying the terms of Kairos' baleful edict. You and the forces of Kairos are free from the Overlord's death sentence. With the threat of execution no longer looming overhead, the Overlord's armies turn their attention away from the Citadel and toward each other. The tensions that flared over the long siege reached an explosive crescendo as the disfavored and the Scarlet Chorus armies crushed, clashed iron and bronze in a hasty, disorganized battle. As his forces were cut down, the voices of Nerat and his officers escaped to the Stone Sea, leaving the conscript army to carry on their battle against the disfavored. In the aftermath, the disfavored broke camp and withdrew to the, their fortress in the Blade Grave, there to, to regroup and prepare for the extended campaign against the Scarlet Chorus. Having taken vengeance well for yourself, Archon Graven Ash recognized your lawful claim to rule and occupy the spire. As days pass, the wounded and injured were nursed to health. You explored your strange bastion and planned your next steps with careful deliberation. As word spreads that the Scarlet Chorus and disfavored turned on each other, Factions, once resolved to bend the knee, are inspired instead to continue fighting. The Archon's feud has heralded the collapse of Kairos' offensive. Dunon, the Archon of Justice, observes the chaos and discord spreading across the land. The Archon summons his fate binder to return to court at the bastard city and report on his actions in Vengeance Well. Iron Marshal Civil War were shame that it descended into this. Archon Ash will want to meet and discuss the next steps. Best that you regroup in Iron Heart, gather your strength and regroup, but don't leave the Archon waiting. Send Ash my regards. The general has done much for me, and I wish he was here to see this. I'll join the Archon and Arthur after I speak with Kuno. That would be best. She shakes her head and looks out on the spire with fresh bewilderment. It's not enough that we are fighting two wars. 
now we have these two puzzle through I don't envy your position see you at iron heart the dizzling energy from the spire falters whatever force awoke the powers that reside here gutters and fades though a faint hum persists in the sculpt sculpture at the center that's odd there was a portal here a moment ago, but it seemed to have vanished. I don't know what happened. It is all new to me. Look around for a solution. The humming from the curious sculpture pulses and builds in volume as if to draw your attention. This will undoubtedly prove useful as you travel through the field. You should investigate the origins of this power and find ways to acquire more. A new bar on your char character sheet displays your current level of power. Press C to open your character sheet. Merci. In view your current level of power. is there like a companion okay. on closer inspection a series of symbols carved around the base of the structure come into view one symbol pulses with a blue white glow the pattern resembles the glowing lines of light seen on the floor of ascension hall moments before you found yourself transported above the clouds i think the game begins now the real game As you stare at the symbol, the chill of the wind abates and your chest swells with warmth. The air finally feels welcoming, your lungs sated at last. I'd be careful going any closer. This whole tower is humming with energies that we don't understand. Lantry holds his cool voice above. A sheet of parchment with anticipation. Now I didn't say back away. Let's find out what it does. Just be curious. Just be cautious. I can feel power running through this place. Ebb surveys the surroundings, her gaze sweeping to the object at the center. You can sense the magic of the spire even from down below. But up here, this close to the axis of the spire, the deluge of energy is numbing. I feel dizzy. Do you feel dizzy? Varric mess touches the, the brow of his helmet, causing a hall of grinding iron echo to cross the expanse. What is this? Touch the sculpture. The stone is smooth and cool to the touch. Marbling patterns move with the curves of the sculpture, looking more akin to veins than imperfections of rock. Can't find a single marking to suggest an artisan's tool. As uh, you are about to draw your finger away, you feel a sudden return pressure on your fingertip as the sculpture touches your back. The sculpture is once again still. There is a rush warmth to your body, a jolt of enervation that steadies your balance. A barrage of tactile sensation floods your mind as you feel footsteps and wind 
but not on your face or your limbs. A moment later, the flood of information begins to make sense. You are feeling the wind against the spire and even the weight of your own feet, as if the spire were a second spine. With this connection made, you feel your awareness pull from this place, not as a traveler, but as uh, one glimpsing the world, the world from impossibly far away. In this moment, there is nothing you cannot see, though you uh, you see it nearly all at once in a fluid of sensation that is difficult to parse. You see a spire at the crossing of an ancient stone structure, two walls extending off into the distance. At the base of this eternal spire, settlers and merchants act in every way unconcerned, toiling under the observation of unforgiving taskmasters. As the shadow of the spire falls over them, the mood changes, the settlers pause in shared unease and look up in the sky toward you. Some of the faces looking at you are familiar and you recognize this place as a, as a Betian crossing where you served during the war. Near this settlement built at the joining of the, of the ancient walls, you see a breach in the massive masonry, a cleft into the forbidden hidden realm within the old walls. Look closer to the spire. The spire, still similar to the one you now occupy, though instead of radiating arcane life, it reeks of dust and crumbling stone, a branch withering once pulled from its tree which is for you with a barely perceptible tug. Yes, I I I just claimed uh, the, 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 the the fortress and, and, and now I'm trying to figure out what kind of wonders and magics are because I got teleported. I got a new companion. Shadows envelope you, muting uh, all sound and vision with slight delay. There is a feeling of perversion, of wrongness. Whatever arcane power is allowing your senses to drift free of your body seems to falter in this place. Figures hound the stone halls, drifting emanations of cloud, claw and fang. They pay you no heed but you fear them all the same. In the depths of this for forbidden place, the deepest chamber is bathed in light. The arcane symbol illuminates the floor, though the details hurt your eyes when you focus. With a gentle tug, your focus pulls back to a new horizon, though it takes you a moment to recognize it as Vengeance's well. You've returned to the awareness of your immediate surroundings. The effect leaves you unsteady on your feet. The link between you and the spire recedes. The arcane bond is still present, but the mystical energies for the moment are quiet. Your body flooded with excitement and fatigue. It's unclear whether the mystic connection is strengthening you or siphoning the tower offers nothing by way of answer and you know that asking would only yield more silence and mystery. The deluge of sensation is over but the positions of the other spires still linger in your mind. From your vantage point atop the mountain spire you can easily spot the mysterious structures, each of them rising high above their distant surroundings. I, I think that the, the real game begins now. Did you sense that? <laughs> Lantry signs a long sigil in the air, squinting at uh, you as he works his country. The, the, the ripples are everywhere. When you move, the magic of this place steers and churns. That portal over there those burning braziers, they all grow more intense as you approach. 
I think it's responding to your presence. I hate to interrupt the wool gathering, but uh, you did just resolve one of Kairos's uh, edicts, which is at least as remarkable as ascending a spire. Am I the only one who thinks they might be related? That little, ah, oh. as the lawful holder of this spire, it is your duty to find out as much about it as possible. That includes understanding. Feels like, I, I feel like I'm, I've been reading for ages already. If you forget your responsibilities, you'll be only too happy to remind you. Be sure to see me after your audience with Tunon. We cannot let the Scarlet Chorus gain hold in the tears. Together we will wipe them from the land. Come to me as soon as you can, Fatebinder. We have a lot of work to do. Ah, by the way, uh, th there is also a civil war because the two armies are now enemies. And I took uh, the side of one of the armies. So I am an enemy of the other army. Investigate the spires, find a way to the Lithian's crossing spire. Travel to Tunon's court in the bastard city. Uh, the sculpture doesn't respond to your touch. Okay. I have people leveled up. Safe. Okay, Art of the Blade uh, 2. Seems like an. Let's see, Eb. Eb is new. Attack team and mobility team. And defense, okay. <gasps> oh my god! Five euro! Thank you, Emily! You shouldn't have, come on! Did you... <laughs> Did you get your salary today? <laughs> So holidays are uh, tomorrow, okay, <laughs> so this is some kind of advance. Well, holidays are coming, so I will not uh, refuse your donation. I have a child to feed, you know. <laughs> you have acquired your... <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> you have acquired your first spire. This spire will be your home base as you adventure through the lands of Kairos, says Tears. Your spire gives you a free location to rest and recover from your travels. As uh, you acquire more spires, you will discover additional functionality. Click on the spire icon to open your home base interface or press H. Okay, let's level up uh, Ebb. First, repelling blast create a powerful jet of water that strikes nearby target and knocks them back. Afflictions applied to Ebb have their duration reduced. Summon a globe of water to surround the target's head, leaving them to slowly drown. Ah! Gain a bonus to all frost damage dealt. Okay. I like that. Thank you for the donation, Emily. 
Oh. I'm so moved. I hope I hope I I'm I will I will become affiliate I'm uh, I'm not sure if if it will work recruits camping supplies periodically ah skill trainer who teaches another skill trainer who Oh my god, so many mountain spire Vendrian as well. Select region to view information about this current edict. Okay. Electric jolt. Shock magic. Phantom bolt. Okay. Uh, safe. Your your resolution. Oh. Whoa. points okay My resolution will be uh, to become the greatest and the most powerful streamer in the world and all the women will want me. <laughs> Thank you. have received the missive oh again okay I will, I promise, cross my heart and hope to die. Okay, so I have to go to... Uh... Okay, so Ascension Hall, Vengeance Well Citadel. I can go here 
mean I can go Sunset Spire or Bastard City. Okay. Let's go to Bastard City. Two known scored. It will take you one day, 17 hours and 45 minutes to complete your journey from Mountain Spire. Okay. You learn something every day. Okay. I got leveled up. Ability and spell cooldown. Weakness. How? Why don't I have the spells? Uh, I I just selected a spell, Cone of Magic, and it's not Iron Tolling, Charged Strike. Aha! Will do. One minute plus four armor. We're not oh. waiting on me, are we? Okay. like this Cairo standard and imposing sight of the conquered and unconquered Unon, Aurora, Sevel, Sevel, Fate Binder. Oh, those are the other. Oh, Lady Lucretius. But I will talk to these guys tomorrow. For now, thank you all for being with me. This was a very exciting uh, stream. Thank you, Emily, for being with me and thank you for your donation. Also, I'll see you tomorrow, and I'll see you all tomorrow, guys. Yes, I will. Thank you. Until tomorrow, bye.
Be safe.